We're going to be doing some happy stamping today with this gorgeous stamp set. It's called Pretty Perennials and it's by Stampin' Up and yes I am an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator for the company and so a lot of the videos you'll see me do are basically showing you how to use these fabulous products and so if you've never picked up a stamp before I'm hoping that you will gain the confidence to think perhaps this one, perhaps this one because this one is very much uh, great for beginner stampers it's got a bit of everything in it it's got a large flower a medium flower a smaller flower there it's got leaves it's got foliage it's got sentiments everything you'll need to kind of get beginning so I'm hoping to show you tonight maybe three different ways that you can use a stamp set to create a whole sheet of beautifully stamped paper that you can then cut up and use uh, at, a, at a later date for creating your cards. So I've already picked out some, uh, sorry I'm just moving my, my mat, it's a little bit temperamental my mat because I've got about three layers to it there. Right now that should be fine. Uh, so I've picked out some purple posy card stock and I've also deliberately picked out colours that are going to be retiring very soon. So Stampin' Up! come out with five on-trend colours a year and they stick around for two years and then we say goodbye to them because we want to make room for five new colours that are going to be with us very, very soon. So I wanted to remind you that if you don't have these colours and you love them, then please do go ahead and order them quickly. So we have, in available in the ink, we have Seaside Spray, Terracotta Tile, Rococo Rose and Pretty Peacock. And they are all available, available in cardstock as well. But the Purple Posy, because there were issues with the quality of the ink, Stampin' Up! removed it. So it is available in the cardstock. So I'm going to stamp on the Purple Posy card to show you that tonight. Then I've also got some of the basic white. And I've got Rococo Rose cardstock lurking in the background, just in case I decide to use it and we're going to see what we can create. Now last night, for those of you who were with me, you saw that I created some cards using this beautiful, if I say so myself, uh, stamped paper. It's just lovely and happy, isn't it? And I wanted to perhaps recreate this with slightly different colours just to show you how, how you can do this at home because I think some of you were a bit disappointed that I didn't have a video for you. So I'm, I'm going to do that for you guys tonight. So hello everybody, welcome, welcome. If you're watching this on the replay, thank you so much for coming by and uh, seeing what I'm up to. And if you love stamping as much as me, stick around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you're gonna wanna see more. So we've got this lovely great big stamp, the flower stamp here. When I say great big, it's big-ish, it's not, it's not huge. But that's what I tend to start with. If you're new to doing these stamped one sheet wonders, as I call them, or whatever you want to call it, some people call it all over stamping, some people call it DSP DIY, uh, DSP stands for designer series paper. Um, you, I, I recommend you start with the biggest flower first because it just gives kind of lots of coverage very quickly. Right, let's pick some colours. So I'm just going to go with the Rococo Rose for this. If anyone wants to shout out some other colours they'd like to see me use, then please do go ahead. I'm wondering whether to have a bit of... Ooh, a bit of gorgeous grape, maybe? Should we go with that? So let's uh, see what that looks like. So if... If you've never done this type of stamping before, I'm going to try and talk through it, through the process, so that you'll have the confidence to do this yourself. So this stamp measures, I want to grab my ruler, but I don't have a ruler on my desk. What, what is with that? Okay, I do, <laughs> hmm, very bizarre. I usually have about five or six rulers, but since I've moved, oh, I have my, um, I have this, my, my trimmer. Okay, let me just tell you how much, what size this is. So this is approximately a two inch by two inch sized stamp. Okay, just to give you a, an idea of the scale. And this is an A4 piece of cardstock. If you're using the American standard size, it's about eight and a half by eleven and a quarter, I think, or eight and a half by eleven. 
So it doesn't matter what size you want to use, this is the process. So you ink up your stamp, and you don't need to push down really hard, just tap, tap, tap. I call it, with kids, I go, you do bunny rabbit hops. Hop, 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 like that. And then you stamp anywhere, absolutely anywhere on your cardstock. It doesn't matter where. And what we're going to aim for is a kind of three flower configuration. So I'm going to stamp the next flower, tucking that petal in between one of those petals. Okay. So again, it doesn't matter where you stamp this on your piece of paper, it really doesn't. And then my third flower, I'm going to tuck in, see that gap there? I'm going to tuck that petal into there. So we've got this kind of three flower configuration. Super duper easy, okay? So then I want to put another splodge of flowers somewhere else. So I'm kind of thinking, well, here would be a good gap, maybe down here, maybe here, or maybe here. Okay, it doesn't actually matter. So, splodge there, petal in between the other ones, and then you've got your natural positioning then for the third one. And yes, I've gone over the edge, but that doesn't matter. So here now I can see there's kind of a natural gap where I'd like to put another flower. And then pop one in there. Then one in there. I will say hello to everyone on the live in a second. I just wanted to get in and get started. And then I'll say hi. Okay, so we're stamping gorgeous grape onto purple posy for those of you who've just joined. So there's a natural kind of like gap over here. So I'm going to stamp three up here. And then I think you might see just, I don't know, a flower that, you know, just wants to start creeping in over there. And there you have it. So the more you do it, the more you'll get a kind of a sense of spatial awareness of like that there's a nice kind of like channel. If you imagine these are little castles with like moats in between them all or little islands. Yes, it's like the Philippines. Uh, lots of little islands with um, all these kind of like bits of sea in between. Right, let's say a quick hello to everybody. Loads of people come in. Hello. It's ha happy Wednesday to you all. Please do share this out with any friends who'd like to come in and join. Hi, Deborah. Your first. Oh, my goodness. Shock horror. Star for Deborah. She gets a, a little badge. She could be prefect today. Uh, hi, Valerie, Navarana, Janine, Jane. Deborah Smith, Jan, Janice, Sheila. So, hi, Sandra. Lovely to see you. Hope you're doing well up in Norfolk. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. Donnie, Minda, Dana, Carol, Julie, Jackie, Monica, Tishan. Hello. Hi, Avis Anderson. Are you new? Glenna, Georgiana. Lovely to see you. Steph, hope you're doing better. Uh, Miss Bev, Claire, Heidi, Lorraine, who have I missed out? Nicola, hi Nicola. Uh, Rebecca, Christine Morgan, hello, Linda, Tina, Gamer Gone Mad Helga, Hegler, hello Hegler. <laughs> hi Cheryl. Hi Gail, hi Marilyn. Right, okay, I'm going to stop there because otherwise I'm not going to get any stamping done. Anyway, hello everybody. Right, so let's bring back the one that I did previously. So here I've got some centre pieces and then I've also got some of these lovely flowers to go in as well. So let's have a look at what colours I have. I'm thinking because Seaside Spray is at the side of me, I may as well use that one. So here I'm going to now fill in some of these gaps, not absolutely everywhere, just some of them, and do kind of clusters of two this time. So we're going to go one and then two, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two. And all I'm doing is kind of like putting the fishes in the moat, as it were. And then I might decide, oh, I just want a little one there. I want to fill that gap there. 
and pop one down there okay because there's still other things to go on here now so go on there oh I may as well go on then right there we go so that's down then we've got this lovely kind of floral stroke leaf effect and I'm wondering oh what colour could we bring in for that I don't want to bring in anything too dark might just go for some pear pizzazz for this so what I tend to do is if it's got quite a long stalk I try and miss out stamping half that stalk because I really don't need it because I want to tuck it right in underneath that flower and then sometimes I'll do a second generation stamp I don't I didn't do it that often on this one but I think I will for this so what I'm going to do is tuck these now I'm looking for gaps that I can tuck them in underneath those little clusters of three that I did earlier so because I've already got this cluster of three down I don't need to think too hard about where to put the leaves because in my head my rule is I need some green coming away from the purple so every, anywhere I see that cluster of purple or the three flowers that is where I'm aiming so whatever colour you choose that's fine just aim these leaves to be inside sorry to come from behind these clusters okay so if anyone has any questions please do shout who's going to bed already did someone say night night already oh no I thought someone said night night hi Martina <laughs> I'm here to help. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm available, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, lovely to see you. Pull up a chair. Deborah's taking the register today. She was first, so she's like head girl today. So for those of you who have been following the uh, the information regarding post post the postal service coming out of um, from stamping up from Europe to the, to the mainland to the UK, um, things are moving ahead. They are delivering more and more parcels each day that have been stuck in a backlog. And so um, if you are one of those customers of mine who have still got outstanding parcels, please let me know because uh, it's getting to the point where actually they can kind of follow them up on a case by case basis now because there are so few of them left to sort, to sort of track. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, am I gonna sneeze? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, that's better. Oh, Martina's saying hello to everybody because it's just easier. It's okay, Martina. I feel the same way sometimes. So this is Highland Heather. Let me just check. Do I get that right? Yeah, Highland Heather. So this is a paler purple than the gorgeous grape. And so I'm going in here with these kind of like berry-like, uh, this berry-like image. Now this image is designed to match up to these stalks here, which you can do if you would like to. I just, for the sake of this demonstration, because I want to do this quite quickly, I'm just using them as a bit of kind of like berry foliage in the background and just blobbing them around the place and, you know, hoping for the best. They can look good. I know they look good because they look good on the last one, so it'll be fine. One's a wish, two's a kiss. Oh, I'll let Tom know that. <laughs> I think he's playing his computer game. What's three then? <laughs> large cottage. Well, this is a large cottage. Um, have I missed a comment? I think I may have missed a comment, Deborah. Right, large dotage oh not last cottage <laughs> it was a misspell dotage thank you got you 
Right, so let's start filling in then some of the centres. Now I do have Pretty Peacock on my desk and I'm wondering if Pretty Peacock would make a really nice centre for these. I've got a feeling. Three's the one you marry. Oh, well, that's good. That's a relief because I'm already there now, Janice. I was talking to a friend about Valentine's Day. Um, he, he purchased a Valentine's card and a birthday card for his girlfriend because um, his girlfriend's birthday is on Valentine's Day. Anyway, I was uh, messaging him and he said, I said, oh, how did it go? And he said, oh, yes, it was very romantic. How was yours? And I just went normal. <laughs> and, I, and I said, I'm married. I said, every day is Valentine's Day. <laughs> Three martinis. Who's having three martinis? Oh, Janine. Janine is known for her cocktails. Yeah. Janine, what do you recommend in the winter months as a cocktail? Come on, Janine. Oh, I'm liking this. It, it's a really lovely, rich centre, isn't it? I like that. Okay, now, just bring back, look, what I did on this one. So this one has got that little flower at the centre so I'm going to do that but in a purple I think and then do centres with those little dots just to kind of pull all the colours together so let's grab gorgeous grape a negotiation or a Manhattan what's a negotiation right come on we want recipes I'm putting Janine to work tonight it's a shame I can't bring people onto my live, actually. That would be super fun. I think I can do it with, if I was doing this via Zoom, sorry, yeah, via Zoom and then to YouTube, I could have someone come on. But, um, and on Haps, I could do that, but with YouTube, I can't. <laughs> Not negotiation. Oh, okay. Something else. Oh, yes, Martina had a little surprise in the post the other day. A few of her stamping friends got together and ordered a red kimono after she said how much she liked the red stamping the other day. Well, it's more like a, an evening sort of a, a dressing gown, a light dressing gown. Oh, she was wearing it earlier. Yeah, she sent me a photograph. <laughs> okay, so that's the gorgeous grape down. So I'm going to move back to the pretty peacock. And I've got... You know, I've been quite good ladies tonight and gentlemen. I've, 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 lay, I've got my stamps on the blocks <laughs> so I don't have to faff around. Okay, so I've got the little... I know, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six dots. I love this as a centre. So now this is when you have to kind of slow down the pace a bit to for accuracy because you kind of want these in the centre. So this is where I slow down the pace as well because much as I'd like to do fast stamping for you guys, I want it to be accurate. Oh, and I need a drink as well. Excuse me. Okay, I think that's everyone. I'm sure someone will tell me if I've forgotten one. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so the only thing left for me to do <laughs> is, can anyone spot, there's one stamp that I've used on here that isn't actually in this stamp set. So, may I be forgiven if I just grab it from another stamp set if you don't have it uh, the other option is to perhaps use um, how's it gone? there's that one but it's not f I don't think it's fine enough it's it's it 
it's just so pretty having this very delicate bit of speckle. So it's from a stamp set called Waterfront, which this stamp is probably the most used one ever. Dottage Cottage, yeah. <laughs> And I've discovered that it actually it's okay to go in there with a dark colour with the dotage. It it can cope with it. It can you know designs like this really can cope with it. So I'm gonna go in there with a pretty peacock. Hey Cindy, lovely to see you. Okay, so let's see if we can go a bit closer. Whoa, a hundred people watching! Oh my goodness. I'm going to take a screenshot. That's amazing. I've got 100 people watching. Wow. Hello, everybody. Welcome. How, welcome to the 100 show. Hold on. I've just got to take a screenshot. Dottage. <laughs> Thanks, Sandra. Oh, it's just got down to 98. Oh, 97. Honestly, I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> yeah, Deborah's prefix, so she was like, Come on people, into class, in you come. Stop dawdling in the corridors. <laughs> well, it's not too late if you want to share this video out with your friends, if you want to go and grab a few more friends to come in. So this is extra class, this is a fun class. So if you want to go and grab some of your friends and bring them in, you know, you're allowed to drink in my class, you know, as long as you don't spill it, you know, you can eat in my class, you know, you know, most classes you go to, they say no food or drink, but in my classes you are allowed. So, you know, go and grab a few friends, have them in. Oh, yay, gone up again. <laughs> oh, thank you, everybody. Yes, Martina calls this one the virus set, stamp sets. <laughs> but yeah, we don't talk about that here. <laughs> right, okay, so that's one done. So that was done in 20 minutes. Okay, well, 22 minutes. But um, we'll quickly move on. I want to try and get three done in an hour, just to show you that it can be done. Okay, so let's change up the colour scheme completely. So we've got Rococo Rose here. So I'm wondering whether to go. Let's go. Mary Malo. Soft suede. And, ooh. Ooh, maybe from a bit of Cajun craze. Okay, I know that might seem a bit crazy, but... Let's do this. Oh, terracotta tile. There we go. So I'm going to try now a slightly different configuration to what we just did. So let me have a moment to think. Uh, what I'm whoa, whoa. Oh, what's going on? My arm is wanting to move at will. Come on, stay. Ooh. Oh, please stay. Oh, what's going on? Oh, oh. Okay. Sorry, guys. My arm was just like starting to move and I'm like, no, don't do that. I've got to do a live. Okay. Oh, no, don't. I wonder if there's a way of me tying it somewhere. Anyway, never mind. Okay. Good night, Steph. Lovely to see you. Okay. I'm thinking, let's start with this one now. So let's do clusters again of three, just to show you it can be done with this smaller one. And I think this time we're going to aim for a little bit more clear space in between the clusters. So don't feel you have to completely 
uh, cover your whole piece of paper. Actually, what I might do is do, you know, no, I'll do clusters. I'll do clusters. I'll do the other one slightly differently. Okay, so again, anywhere you want. And you can also do stamping off, okay? Actually, look, let's do clusters of four, even five. Ooh, 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 that's okay. That works. Okay, so I'm going to do one and then kind of like stamped off and then tuck another one in and stamp off like that. So we're just going to aim for these kind of cute little clusters like that. Almost like a close-up of a hydrangea, I guess. That's what we're kind of aiming for. So if you like any of the products that you see me using today, you can just click on the shop button in the description and it will take you directly to the online shop. So you can shop with me if you're in the UK, France, Germany, Holland, uh, sorry, the Netherlands or Austria. And if you're not in those regions, if you're in America, you can find your closest demonstrator. And there may even be some demonstrators on here who may be able to help you. And if you're in Australia, then I think there are a few Australian demonstrators on right now as well. And New Zealand, you can order via there. Now, I do know I do have some folks who are unable to purchase Stampin' Up! in their regions, but they enjoy coming to watch me anyway. Thank you, Navarana. I know she's one person who does. So there we go. Right, so we've got our clusters happening now. Woohoo! Wednesday must be the night, guys, for One Sheet Wandering. A happy One Sheet Wandering here on Artful Stampin'. What musical was that, everybody? Come on, name that musical. Richard Harris, Vanessa Redgrave. Okay, so I'm going to use that little stemmy thing. And I'm going to have these coming from those clusters. And as you can see, I'm stamping three times. Because I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to be very precise and try and get the berries on there. Or if I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> I'm going to see when I get there. Oh no, not West Side Story. The rain may only... F oh no, hold on, I've got to find the words. Um, da -da 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 In fact, there's simply not a more congenial spot. Oh, happy ever aftering and herein. Okay, I'm going to stop there because uh, I nearly said the name of it. Oh no, not my fair lady. Oh, thanks, Nicola. I've just seen Nicola sent me a screenshot. <laughs> You're a star girl. That's it. July and August cannot be too hot. That's it, Heidi. She got it. <laughs> oh, I love... Um, what's that song? If ever I would leave you. Like Sometimes I do a search for it on... D I have Deezer, which is like this music provider thing. And... I'll listen to lots of different singers singing that one song because I love it so much and I love hearing different singers sing it. It's just like the song that you sing to somebody you're totally in love with. It's such a romantic song. 
Right, so here I've now got terracotta tile, which I think is a shade down from Cajun Craze. So I'm hoping this is going to work. So I've got my berries. I'm going to try and aim the first set of berries pretty kind of close to where they should go. So that's how it's meant to be. And then mm, try and aim the others. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to take my time a little bit and try and aim these in the correct spots but I'm not going to be too worried if I am not perfect with this matching up because the idea of or the reason that you would stamp three times is to create a fading off into the background so it's not too solid a colour throughout Yes, I think I did know that, Janine. Was that before? Was that before or after she was married to to um, um, Redgrave uh, Richardson? Sorry, she was married to um, oh flip, I can't remember his name now. Obviously, now that one I made a boo boo, but anyway, we'll just ignore that. Well, I mean, who, who could not fall in love with him? I mean, Lancelot, for goodness sake. I hardly ever listen to music. It distorts my vision. Oh, yes. I remember Martina, you telling us about this. Not that I can, sorry, I just realised, not that, that I condone having uh, extramarital affairs, obviously. <laughs> just saying that he's a good looking guy. Oh dear, I have to be careful what I say. Remember to breathe, me or Glenna. <laughs> okay, so I've, you've noticed, may have noticed, I've put some extra berries in there. So, as I said, I wanted to try and keep some more white space. So, any e extra patterning that I want to put in here now, I want to keep it kind of confined to the flowers, the floral areas. So, I'm going to add, this is soft suede, so I just want to add a few extra flowers. Oh, I think this needs re-inking. Oh, yeah, the berries would look good as Christmas cards. You're right. Might, this might be a set that would be great to use for the Christmas Stampathon. So if you guys want to get ahead with your Christmas card making, please join the Christmas Stampathon on Facebook. We've already started. So January's challenge is up there. And it's a sketch challenge, or a casing challenge, sorry, not a sketch challenge. We've cased a card that's in the mini catalogue. Okay, so that just helps to add a little bit more sort of interest, what's going on. And then we still have this lovely little flower here. And I'm wondering whether to add that in Cajun Crows. What did Paula say? Did I miss something? Oh yes, yeah, sorry about the Christmas, yes. And of course, because I'm stamping onto Rococo Rose, it does 
change how these colours work. The, the ink colours, they're not obviously going to be the true colours that they would be if you were stamping onto white cardstock. It just adds another layer of interest and kind of, hmm, not quite sure, you know, what it's going to look like. So, yeah. Sadly, no green. Or oh, would you like some green? Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> Uh, right, uh, now this time I'm wondering whether just to go for some a little simple centre to these this time. And I could do that in some green. I might go in with some mossy meadow. <laughs> That's true, Martina. <laughs> I had to read it twice what you just said. Okay, and I'm thinking I'm not going to stamp the centres in all the ones that I stamped, just the first and second generation flowers here. Because I want to kind of bring those to your attention. I don't I don't want all the flowers in the background to kind of be dominant I just want the ones in the foreground to be dominant so I'm just going to add centers to those ones that are a bit more obvious does that make sense Not forget these ones up here. Oh, and that one there. Okay. So you see how like these ones are in the foreground and then these are sort of like faded into the background. Right. Um, do I want some little leaves? Yeah, perhaps. Let's do some little leaves. I'll just swap over the block though. The small stamp, the flower one, Glenna, the small bloom. Yeah, I stamped it. What are you stamping along with me? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a grand idea, Sandra. 50 festive Fridays. Wow. That's. I admire your, uh, oh, your, I don't know what the word is, your stickability. 50 ideas, that's amazing. Wow, so everybody, if you want some more ideas, Sandra's Craft Studio. She's um, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, a friend of mine. And um, I know I've met her in real life. And she's awesome. So if you want to go and get some more inspiration, then yeah. Go and get 50, 50 Fridays, wowee. I, I am in awe. <laughs> Good, Heidi. <laughs> it's me, it's me. The merry month of May. Oh, if I wasn't going to be, if I wouldn't get demonetized, I'd play you the soundtrack. But there we go. Just have to put up with my singing. They are cute leaves and they are from that stamp set. So these are all from Pretty Perennials. I am a cornucopia. Thank you, Martina. That's a very sweet description of me. Well, I was a bit of a musicals. Sorry, I don't know if you're referring to my <laughs> knowledge of musicals. <laughs> I was a bit of a new musicals freak as a teenager. Oh, and I met Vanessa Redgrave once. 
she was delightful poor woman I climbed into her taxi to get her autograph <laughs> oh dear I must have got it somewhere oh no I've just realized that in all my packing I came across a signature that I got from Anthony Hopkins Sir Anthony Hopkins um but I haven't found the one that I got from Vanessa Redgrave Ah, oh, that might sadly that may have uh, got lost over the years Oh, Janine, of course, yes, because you're in New York, it's easy for you to access Broadway, isn't it? Oh, these leaves are so delightful. So the leaves, sorry, I should have been talking through where I'm stamping these leaves. What I'm trying to do is where there's a petal, I'm not stamping over the petal, I'm, st I'm stamping around the petal go around the petal around the petal around the petal okay so. yeah I mean basically I have these little rules okay so that's that's how it all kind of like comes together because I have these little rules like if the leaves are there to support the flowers really so that's what I would do Okay, now I have got this larger leaf, but I am a little bit apprehensive to use it because I feel that these are sort of more delicate um, designs. I don't really want to add it. However, I will add a little bit of speckle. I know, around, where's this, what film's this from? Around the leaf. If Esther was watching, she'd know. Um, Jan's on a, in a group called 10 on the 10th. On the 10th of each month, you make 10 Christmas cards. Oh, how cool. That is a good idea as well. You guys have all got these great ideas to get your Christmassy stuff done. So I'm using the this speckledy one a bit more sporadically. I'm not wanting to cover every single area. I'm just kind of... Doing it, yeah, like I say, sporadically. Oh, that's a quote from a film as well. Sporadically. Anyone know what film that came from? Around the Leaf, was that the guy painting? No, it's a film, it's a Disney film. I, I agree, Paula. Yeah. Spottage, dotage. Right, okay, I'm up to 40 minutes, so I've got 20 minutes to do another one. Let's bring in the white this time. Okay, has anyone got any burning desire for certain colour schemes? Okay, you maybe type three different colours if you've got a burning kind of... Oh, I really want to see Ruth do that tonight, and I will choose. So you've got... Okay, Ruth, take care. You're going to address them in the autumn. Oh, you're good, Sandra. <gasps> Sandra, I need to send you my new address. Bright ones. Well, last night, are you, that was the one that I did. So that is Magenta Madness, Real Red, Night of Navy, Coastal Cabana, and Daffodil Delight. Oh, and then I realised last night, you know the ones that I did last night this is actually so saffron just saying okay I think I may have given the impression it was definitely light but it wasn't it was so saffron so blues and purples oh, well I've just done blues and purples who was that blues and yellows okay more pretty peacock Glenna I've just done blues and purples uh who says blues and yellows um Pretty Peacock, I will miss it. Okay, so if we go for Pretty Peacock, we could do that. And we could bring Seaside Spray back on. And then what about some... <coughs> could do Bumblebee. With some... So Saffron. Yeah, how about that, guys? Should we do that? Right up a little bit let's see what I've got here 
have a look at what I've not used. Oh, I had a delivery today. I got in the post. Oh, sweet sampler. So this is available uh, if you're a host of a party, but if you are a customer of mine and you want to order this, then please drop me a line, email me, ruthtrice at gmail.com and I'll find a way for you to get one of these. They're £12. So they are basically a flower or a item from each of the different suites in the January to June mini catalogue. So I've got a little seashell there. Got a little bud and hydrangea and then oh, look at this. Look at this dotage. Woohoo! And then we've got this lovely flower here. Who's who's done stamp surgery? Oh this one, Jan. What did you cut that leaf off? Ooh, she's already done stamp surgery. Uh got the lovely leaf there and that dragonfly. So I've already started putting it together. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I nearly said ladies and gentlemen of the jewellery. <laughs> what on earth am I on? Right, okay, let's have a think. Oh, I fancy some really pretty peacock flowers. And I'm going to go for a configuration that I've done a few times where we go diagonals and see. No, you separated the flowers on the left. Wow, that's a bit of stamp surgery there, um, Jan. That's pretty impressive. Tina asks, what is the difference between the marker blends and the other coloured blends? Okay, so let's go through the different pens that Stampin' Up! do. So we've got the Stampin' Blends and then we've got the Stampin' Right Markers. So the Stampin' Blends are alcohol-based and fabulous for colouring and blending because the colours blend beautifully together. And the Stampin' Right markers behave like, basically they're like felt-tip pens for grown-ups, okay? So you don't get children playing them because they're nice, they're super nice felt-tips. But those are water-based. So that is the core difference. So with the stamping blends, the alcohol-based ones, uh, you're going to want to stamp your image in a water-based ink to start off with. And then colour it in with the alcohol markers. Do not stamp your base image with stays on. Okay. Yeah, that's another good point. Thank you, Paula. Um, stamping right markers can be used to colour your stamps straight on and then stamp with them so you can get different uh, effects that way. But alcohol pens you cannot do that with. Okay. They are both consumables, so they're not designed to last forever. And they basically last as long as you use them. So, oh, thanks, Sandra. Right. Hi, Christine. Gray. Hi, Amanda. What's that? Martina, I'm jealous. Oh. Oh, Martina's going to be very busy and she needs to be just busy stamping so that she can recover from her bout of illness. Yes, no snow shoveling for you, Martina, no matter how bad it gets out there. Okay, so this is Bumblebee now. So I don't know, if, sorry, I've not been explaining my configuration because I've been chatting to you guys. So what I've tried to do is just have my flowers going in in rows across my page. 
And so I've got bumblebee here, which I want to scatter amongst these gorgeous peacock kind of blooms. But I'm trying to keep within um, the cluster, sorry, the, the lines here, and not to go too far away from them. Oh, the snow is melting. There we go. That's good. No more shoveling for you. Oh, Pennsylvania is getting more snow tonight. Whee! How much have you had already, Bonnie? Hi, oh, take care, Bev. Oh, have a lovely time. Have a lovely morning, isn't it, where you are? Nice to see you. Actually, that, that does remind me. I want to get back to scheduling some classes. So for those of you who are interested, because I know I've got a few more followers now, I do Zoom classes. I have done Zoom classes. Sorry, that's why I should rephrase that. And I'd like to do some more and for those of you who've not participated in one before um, basically you pay your money and I charge £16 per person so that will just paper automatically just will translate that into whatever your value is in your region and it's a two hour class but sometimes we stick around for a bit longer having a natter uh, but normally it's a two hour class and there's never more than six people in that class. I keep it quite a tight, small class so that I can give everybody lots of attention. And the first class is very much sort of the basics of stamping a one sheet wonder. And you will... There are techniques that I teach in that class you will have actually seen me do in videos but the benefit of doing the class is that I will go through each step, um, show you each, demonstrate each step and then you will have, do what you need to do and then um, you'll get my critique, you know, you can show me what you're doing and I can make suggestions and so you end up, you know, having me there to sort of explain um, your next moves as it were. And then, so that's class one is basically, if you've not done sort of stamp one sheet wonders, that's quite a good one. The second class that I've taught is to do with using water. So you need to have shimmer white paper for that because it's very much about doing lots of spritzing and getting quite messy. Uh, the third class, oh, I'm gonna have to refer to my notes. Anyone who's done class three, can you remind me what class three is? I'm trying to remember. One of them is a wreath. I've now I've done I think I've done four classes, haven't I? Where's Linda? Linda's done um my class. Who else has done my class? Yeah, it might be the wreath. Yeah, Monica's done my class as well. And then the fourth one is a box and so you do a stamped box and you make some paper flowers. Three is three. Thanks Jan um, Janice. Yeah, Janice has done it as well. So you don't have to do class one in order to do class two or three. You just need to let me know which one you would like to do. And I'm going to try and schedule a few different ones because as I said I've got four different classes now that I I do and then I need to add a fifth one although I think when I did class four we were discussing what I would do for class five I can't remember what it was now but it might be just another stamped one sheet wonder technique I think can you do the zoom on a smartphone or do you have to use a computer with a webcam um you can do it on a smartphone Christine yeah you can although it's advisable to have at least be able to watch me 
on a bigger screen if you can. So if you do have, you don't necessarily need to have a camera uh, to participate via a PC or laptop, but you could then maybe have your, you could join in with your phone if you want for us to see you. So, um, actually, well, Bon, uh, oh yeah, Gluck, Class one. Oh no, you'll be fine, Bonnie. Probably just once is fine for you. Um, Linda sitting in her car in the IKEA parking lot. You're kidding me. <laughs> I think it was all that discussion about IKEA stuff yesterday. She's probably gone off to IKEA. Our IKEA isn't open yet. It's only available through um, online. Okay, so I started adding these little leaves. So adorable. So, so cute. And I'm thinking now I just need to start putting some centres in. Now, I know the centres, if I, I can't really do any darker colour than the Tranquil Tide. So, I'm not even going to attempt it. So what I'm going to do is do a little yellow centre, which I think could be quite fun. There we go. Well, if you're a perfectionist, I will help you get over that. <laughs> yeah, I will help you get over perfectionism. It's not allowed in my classes. So what you do need to have, obviously I'm not supplying any products in the class because it's a remote learning situation. So you do need to have uh, cardstock. You do need to have a kind of collection of stamps. So various, certainly you need a floral stamps for the first, first workshop and maybe some leafy stamps. So you can, I do send out a bit of a suggestion list for those people who sign up and um it is kind of aimed at the a crafter who does have a few you know a few colors and a few stamp sets not not hundreds you don't need to have hundreds of stamp sets but you certainly do need you know maybe two or three floral sets and and a texture background um set as well i would recommend that but again no, and and no, it does, doesn't necessarily have to be current product and it doesn't have to be stamping up product either I'm not um although I tend to speak stamping up when I do the classes if that makes sense I refer to stamping up products quite a lot um I'm quite happy if you don't have all stamping up I'm not going to boot you out the class you know the point is it to be there and just enjoy learning a process it's Okay, so there we go. There's some little flowers gone in there now. So I'm thinking some of those little pale berries. Oh, bye, Jane. Has Jane... Jane said goodbye. Sorry, I missed her. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Sandra likes this colour combo. Cindy says she's a perfectionist and watching Ruth and Esther is giving me courage. Yay! Courage to embrace the imperfections. Oh, oh this is Bumblebee. Oh, I didn't want Bumblebee. I wanted to say Saffron. Oh, excuse me. Okay, good night, Julie. Sorry, my um, I didn't have control over the air coming out of my esophagus. Then, sorry. <laughs> Polite way of saying, excuse me, burping. <laughs> Now the So Saffron looks quite dark as it's going down, but I think it's because I re-inked it recently. So it's quite saturated, but I'm hoping that just in a few minutes time, this So Saffron is going to calm down a little bit. And Glenn is having a little fit in the corner over the dots. Oh yeah, I got my parcel today as well, Wendy. Yeah, I don't even bother looking at the app anymore. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to get depressed. 
No, the parcels are coming through much, much quicker. Yeah, I placed this order last week and it's it's got here. So... Oh, Janine needs to tidy up. Janine, do you not have a little elf? There we go. So you might want to put some dotage on this just to sort of help the etherealness of it. The other fun thing you can do is do some scripts. Um, something like Very Versailles. That's a really nice one. You can do some script type stuff over it. Or there are also some really nice textures stamps or stenciling so stenciling is another favorite thing for me to do and if Sheila's here she'll be very happy I think Sheila likes it when I do stenciling mm, no not those ones so Stampin' Up! only carry some plastic stencils, but what I use as stencils is their laser cut paper. So this is a really simple way to apply some texture to your background. So choose a colour. So in this case I'm going for the Seaside Spray. And get a brush. Now Stampin' Up! do carry brushes now. Actually this one I just washed earlier so I'm going to see if this is usable again. It's It feels slightly damp to the touch, very very slightly damp because I only washed it just before I came on live. So I'm going to see if it works. Absolutely Navarana, totally agree with you there. Okay let's start in this corner and work our way up. So I'm not doing it, going to do it everywhere, it just needs little spots here and there. No Jan, it can be salvaged. Or it goes in the scrap basket. I have projects that go in the scrap basket and then get torn up and then covered and painted on and used for something else but it's still got that, the residue of the original thing underneath it. Okay, can you see that coming through? Can you guys see that? So if you're watching this on the replay please do comment and let me know which has been your favourite one that I've done of tonight. Where are we? We're just over the hour, so it's just taken me an hour or so to do three lots of stamping. And you know what, ladies? Sometimes we're just in the mood just to do stamping, and then sometimes we're in the mood to make cards. Sorry, and gentlemen. Sorry, I know I've got gentlemen watching as well. And so this style of card making is great because... You can kind of go with the flow and have fun with colours and stamps one day and then another day do all your chopping and cutting and assembling, you know. Or you can do it all in one go, it's up to you. <laughs> oh yes, all cut out dies. yes. We do have some really beautiful dies. Oh, where's that one that Martina gave me? I thought I saved it in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. So this is a lovely, Martina sent me these. Oh, it's too late for me to use them now, but um, these are from some dies in the current mini catalogue. And these are great for stenciling through as well. Oh, next time. Hi, Inika. Lovely to see you. Yes, Vine Design, Paula. Thank you. That's correct. Okay, so tonight's focus has been on 
Pretty Perennials, the stamp set here, and we stamped it three different kind of colour configurations and configurations of flowers. So we'll start with number one, go through all the colours that we used for that. So we use Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather and Pear Pizzazz. There we go. My camera has decided to move again. There we go, that's better. Ah, no, stop it. There we go, that's better. I need to have a go doing a Christmas themed one. Well, you could easily do that, very easily. So if you were wanting to do this as a Christmas one, I would suggest doing it over something like soft sea foam or crumb cake. <gasps> crumb cake would be delightful. So you could do cherry cobbler instead of the gorgeous grape. Maybe early espresso for the middles. And old olive. Take care, Christine. And yeah, crumb cake and reds and oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yes. Okay. So, Purpose as Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Seaside Spray and Pity Peacock for the first one. Then, And that was stamped onto Purple Posy cardstock. Sorry, I forgot to say that. That's on Purple Posy. Then this is stamped onto Rococo Rose cardstock. And we have used... Look at all these colours. Mary Malo for the flowers, Cajun Craze, Terracotta Tile, Soft Suede and Mossy Meadow. Okay, isn't that delightful? Lovely colour scheme there. And then for the final one, we've got Bumblebee and So Saffron and then Pepsas. Pretty Peacock and Seaside Spray. Okay, that there. Yes, they could be more Christmas colours. Yes, yeah, certainly by swapping some red out, you know. Um, just doing that, you know, or that. That would give you your more Christmassy kind of effect there. So, very easy to do. Yeah. The other thing you could do, if you want more of a poinsettia looking flower, you could use this leaf to create that. But if you've got the poinsettia stamp set anyway, then I would go ahead and use that instead. I think I did do a couple of one sheet wonders with that stamp set. So there we go. Right. Oh my goodness. This is like record breaking. I've had nearly over 100 people watching <laughs> for the last 40 so minutes. So thank you so much, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do write in the comments which one you like the best. So that was one, that was two, and that was three. And I'd like to think that they've all got their own kind of feel to them. I know the colours make them feel different, but um, the configurations are slightly different in all of them. And so you can emulate these. I hope, you know, you could go back and watch this and, and emulate it for yourself. It is a very happy, yes, yeah. And yeah, thank you for all your chit-chatting. It's always great to have your company. I always love the directions different conversations go in. So tonight it was the Camelot episode. Maybe I should rename these. I should have like, <laughs> a bit like friends, they go, uh, the one where. <laughs> so in the description, the one where we discussed Vanessa Redgrave. <laughs> You're partial to purple. You know what? A lot of my viewers are partial to purple. Yeah, I, I've grown to realise that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Navarana. Yes, go enjoy birthday dinner. Oh, Cindy, happy birthday. Sorry, I hadn't realised that it was your birthday. Well, happy birthday to you. Thank you, Elsie Kelly. Oh. 
Vanessa Bridge was named after Vanessa Redgrave. That's her claim to fame. Well, Vanessa, if I find her signature, I will send you a photograph. Yeah, it was quite a while ago. Tonight was a tour de force. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, Janice. Take care. I'm not going to get to say goodbye to everybody, so I'm just going to say goodbye, everybody. It's been lovely to see you, and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully. Take care. God bless everybody. Bye.